This recipe is one of my most popular slow cooker recipes of all time. Picture this, you walk into your home after a long day at work and the aroma of succulent chicken cooked in a rich tomato and peanut sauce wafts through the air. The anticipation builds and your mouth waters as the slow cooker has worked its magic, merging the flavors of rich peanut butter, subtle red chili, zesty lime juice and savory soy sauce. Whether it's served on a bed of fluffy white rice or scooped up with a warm naan bread, every bite is sure to hit the spot. Hey, I'm nutritionist Scott Bapte and welcome back to my Food for Fitness kitchen. This recipe for peanut chicken is so popular, probably for two reasons. One, it tastes delicious, and two, there are really only two steps to the entire preparation. There's no pre-cooking of ingredients. You literally just throw everything into the slow cooker, pop the lid on and turn it on, and that's it. So if you're looking for a meal that has minimal prep and tastes delicious and is super popular with the family and is a great midweek, then this recipe is the one for you. Right, go get your slow cooker, let's cook it. So in this version, we are going to just throw in the chopped up onion and the chopped chili raw into the slow cooker. But if you've got some spare time and inclination to do so, I recommend you fry the onion first, just because this releases more flavor um, before you add it to the slow cooker. But if you're short of time, just put it in raw with the chili. Then add your chicken breasts. I am using one kilo of chopped up chicken breasts, but you could also do this with whole chicken breasts and then just shred them with a fork at the end. Next up, add your garlic. I am using two cloves of the pressed stuff from a jar because it saves on meal prep time, along with 120 grams of peanut butter. Crunchy or smooth it is entirely up to you. It doesn't make a huge difference. I prefer crunchy just for a little bit of extra texture. A tablespoon of curry powder and some soy sauce. And also at this point in the video, please do hit that like button because it just really helps me out and means you're more likely to see these videos. Then add two tablespoons of lime juice, a tablespoon of corn flour to help thicken things, and 400 grams of chopped tomatoes. That's all the ingredients that you need. Mix everything through. You might not manage to combine the peanut butter with the other ingredients that well at this stage, but as it warms up during the cooking process, give it a stir again, and then it'll just combine with everything really nicely. Then once everything is mixed, pop the lid on it and you want to cook this on low for about five hours or slightly less if you're cooking it on medium. But then after five hours, you're going to have this delicious, thick, rich sauce and it's just going to smell delicious. And then all you need to do is garnish with something green. I'm using coriander and give it a little squeeze of lime. So that is slow cooker peanut chicken. Now, would you like a free slow cooker recipe ebook? If you would, just click the link below in the description and you will be able to download a recipe ebook that I've called 10 Hidden High Protein Slow Cooker Recipes and you'll be able to get this along with nine other delicious slow cooker recipes. Totally free, you just enter your email address and it gets sent you right away. So click that link in the description. Thanks again for watching and I'll speak to you later.